Hello students, welcome to Edusil. In this video, we are going to discuss about vertex cover to independent set, one of the hardest hard reduction we are going to discuss. Where we know independent set, we are trying to find out the vertex cover. It is written in this way. Those who are new, kindly watch the previous videos where we have in detail discussed about independent set. Okay. So again, I am telling you like what is vertex cover that we should know. Here, uh, graph is given to us where V is the uh, vertices and k is the integer which will keep all the number of vertices there okay similar to this also we are keeping it means if number of nodes are 8 it will keep 8 or less than that okay it represents vertex cover as per the example we should know how we will be writing the vertex cover From the same example also we will be finding uh, the independent set okay I'm changing the color now for vertex cover uh, we will pick always you remember the nodes the nodes which you are going to pick that should cover all the edges okay the set of vertices I must write for vertex cover it is set of vertices which uh, will cover or widget or widget all the edges of the graph okay so set of vertices which will cover or widget all the edges of a graph we will say this is our vertex covers you might have a question sir a b c d e can it be vertex cover i must say yes it's a maximum vertex cover okay if i'll write the minimum vertex cover this is what we are going to discuss here our target is minimum one minimum vertex cover we are finding means the number of minimum number of vertices will keep in that okay so a b c by default it's a vertex cover so vertex cover the minimum vertex cover always i'm writing minimum vc always subset of the graph clear which will consider all the edges that's why i'm writing in this order okay next thing is then how do we write the minimum vertex cover you can check if i am picking a so i can uh, be completing this one and that one next for if i am picking b i can pick this this as well as this okay so i must write a b is vertex cover okay from this graph why because it will cover all the edges or visit all the edges that's why we are saying a d is minimum vertex cover i'm just writing it writing a vertex cover you can write minimum vertex cover or vertex cover in general okay for independent set i'm just changing the colors independent set means if you're taking this one okay you need to discard b and c then you have two options d or e either this you can pick okay or it will never give you the correct result so if i'm picking a or else you can check if i'm picking b i have to discard this one and that one okay next c next e clear so i must write b node c node and e node is independent set okay let us discuss now 
what exactly we are going to do we know independent set as it is a right hand side we know independent set through independent set we are trying to find out the vortex cover clear we will create similar graph which will take as i told you either n square or n or e plus v clear n square means i'm just uh, representing the all the vertices as n that's why i'm saying this will give you one okay for independent set as i told you for uh, complexity it is 2 to the power n into n square uh, in 2017 as per the wikipedia i have seen the complexity is 1.1996 to the power n using P space this is what our polynomial space uh, this is written in the uh, Wikipedia I found it so what exactly we are trying to find out the vortex cover the vortex cover using this independent set we are trying to find it out now I kept one example for you what exactly we are doing we are here the value k dash Suppose you are trying to find out the independent set. If you just remove that independent set from all the vertices, you will get a vortex cover. Also, vice versa could be possible. I'll tell you from this example. Okay. So here, if I'm finding the independent set, this is a V I'm writing. The V is the number of vertices we are having is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. This is our V. Okay. For if you are writing V dash sorry v modulus it is number of nodes are five okay next for independent set or might be you can say the vertex cover or anyone if you want to find out suppose independent set i'm taking as an example the independent set of i'm saying i must take suppose two five or three if i'm taking two if I'm taking one, I need to ignore this one. I need to ignore this one. I need to ignore also this one. Okay. What I have to pick? Only four. The independent set will be one and four. This is our independent set. Okay. Then for independent set, we can say the value is two for getting uh, you can say a, a vortex cover what we have to do v minus is which is it is independent set 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 4 so the vortex cover could be 1 2 3 5 which i was presenting as a vortex cover we have to check whether it is a vortex cover for us or not check it if i'm picking two it will cover this one that one and this one also if i'm keeping three it will cover these edges if i'm keeping five it will cover these edges this this and this edge so it is a correct answer for us through this we can easily find out whether we can find whether vice versa is possible or not the same example i am keeping v is given as using uh, independent set we are finding using independent set we are finding the answer now next answer is using independent uh, using vortex cover we are finding the independent set same example we are taking the number of nodes will be 4 5 we are the 5 we are having vortex cover as i told you vortex cover if you want to find suppose 1 you are keeping as a vortex cover 
it will cover it will cover and it will also cover next is to cover uh, suppose you want to take this two it will cover this this okay so if you want to cover if you want to take four it will cover this and this but what about this clear so you have to think instead of two suppose you pick three for three you will consider this one this one this one okay and then for four if you are picking all the edges is getting covered now one three five one three four one three four i'm just giving you once again why i'm keeping one three four suppose i'm keeping one so it will cover or it will visit these three immediate edges okay if i'm taking two it will cover this one this one and this one okay if i'm keeping four it will cover this one this one but what about this edge that's why what i thought if i'm keeping instead of two if i'm keeping three i will indirectly cover these three edges as well as this edge okay if i'm keeping four i will cover this edge as well as this edge okay if i'll take five so what i'll cover i'll cover this edge also okay one three for one for four but for this age either two or five will be picked okay otherwise it will not give any vertex cover but our target should be the minimum vertex cover if you are taking that might be expected as a uh, you know uh, if minimum vertex cover maximum independent set if maximum vertex cover minimum uh, independent set not an issue we'll go for it now we are picking five this is our vertex cover we are finding out that through which all the edges is getting considered now for independent set if you are going v minus vc then what you are finding like one two three four five minus one three four five so the independent set is two only you are getting okay so vice versa is possible i told you if you are taking independent uh, uh, vortex cover as two three five suppose the vortex cover you have taken instead of this one as i told you the minimum vortex cover if you are picking so the maximum independent set you are expecting okay if you are taking the vc as two three and five this is minimum if you are taking five it will cover this edge if you are taking three it will cover this edge if you are taking two it will cover all the edges rest of the edges okay suppose i am keeping this three here two three five for this is will be v minus vc where i'll expect the vertex cover will be one and four okay the minimum here we are getting the maximum in independent set that's it and for maximum vertex cover we are getting minimum independent set this is what we got okay so i hope it is clearly understood to you like i must write a note independent set set using vertex cover okay vertex cover we polynomial reduced using independent set okay so the best example you always remember what the vertex cover uh, we are uh, reducing the employees suppose think uh, an example of security guards okay we are having the post or might be saying these are the hostels okay one two three four five 
there are five hostels what exactly we are trying to do like for each hostel we might place one one uh, security guard not an issue for us but to reduce the number of uh, security guard in that sense like we are paying money might be 10,000 to each security guard instead of giving 50,000 can we reduce to something like if 30,000 we are providing like three different three uh, security guard we are placing that will cover for each security guard he can or she can visit to this he can or she can visit to this he can or she can visit to this from second hostel okay next from fifth hostel he or she can visit to first hostel he or she can visit to second hostel from a uh, fifth he can or she can visit to third hostel or from fifth he or she can visit to fourth hostel okay next for third from third hostel one a uh, first hostel could be uh, visited this fifth hostel could be visited fourth also visited and fifth also visited there is a possibility we can reduce the amount we can reduce the number of employees or tax cover will help it. so this is the example i must have to tell you with a real life uh, scenario through which you can easily understand like why what tax cover is important for us okay through which it is easy for us to understand the wise words is possible also reduction is possible uh, so i hope it is clearly understood to you if any doubt please comment below thank you have a good day